The child unlocks the cell phone using the girl's retina. She calls her father. The girl wakes up and questions what she wants in her room. She tells her mother that she doesn't do anything. The girl says not to call her mother. The girl's lover asks what happened. And he questions what the PYRRH wants here. The girl says that she has already warned her not to come to the room. She says about her father. And the girl says she doesn't want to know anything about her father's worthlessness. The child says he won't go. The girl threatens to beat her if she doesn't leave. And she says to keep quiet and tell no one. Before leaving, the child leaves the cell phone in the bathroom so the father can hear it. And the girl tells her to leave quickly. She says she can't stand the child. The boy says to enjoy the moment together. The girl says that the boy is much better than her husband. The boy says that her stupid husband doesn't know anything. The girl says she only wants her husband's money. And women like her have desires to be satisfied. The boy says he does that. And the girl tells them to stay together in the other place. The child returns to the bathroom and asks if the father is still on the call. The father says yes, and says that when he arrives, he will pretend that he doesn't know anything. The child says he understands. The boy says the breakfast was great. She is happy. Someone knocks on the door, and the girl tells him to hide. And she will open the door. The daughter goes to greet her father. The father asks if everything is in order. She says she's fine. And the father asks to go to the room, and he goes to her. The girl asks how work was. He says it was tiring. She says she arrived early. He says he was released early and is hungry. She says she prepared something. He says to go eat. She brings her husband coffee. The man says the week was tiring. The girl says that her husband's daughter is giving her a lot of work and is quite disobedient. The man says he will talk to his daughter. The girl says to resolve it because the situation is boring. The man asks where his suitcase of documents is. She says she might be behind the couch. The man says it was to be kept. She says she will save it later. The man says he does it himself. She gets worried. The man guards but does not enter. He wants to say something. The girl questions. And he asks if he taught his daughter her lesson. She says yes and tells her to relax a little. The man hugs the girl. And he says to go to sleep. The girl waits for her husband to sleep. She leaves the room. And she will try to free her lover from the bathroom. The child appears and asks where they are going. The girl tells her to go back. She says she will tell her father. 
The girl says that the child's father doesn't believe in anyone but her. The child says he is not afraid of the girl. The boy tells the child to go back to his room now. And the girl says she will take her by force. The child says he won't go. The boy says to leave it to him. And the boy says he's going to teach her a lesson. The man appears and stops the boy from hitting his daughter. The girl says she can explain. The man says he knows everything. The daughter says she is fine. He asks her to come up and he will solve everything. The girl says she can explain. The man says he knows she is cheating on him. And he adds that he treated her like a queen to do this to him. And he says that his daughter has already shown him the whole truth. The girl says that she cheated because he only cares about work and doesn't pay attention to her. The man says the bills need to be paid. The girl says that women have needs too. And the man tells them both to leave. She says something, and the man says he doesn't want to hear it, and just wants her to leave and never come back. And the girl says she's going to leave. The man calls his daughter. He asks if she is okay. She says that she is sorry that her father broke up with the girl. The father says it was the right thing to do, and the two hug.